Good Monday. I'm Chris Fote. This is Monday Morning Jolt. Let's get started. Shirana? Good morning. Today we have one of my best friends, Ruby Kane. Ruby is such an interesting person. Uh, when I wanted to know people in Fort Wayne, she introduced me to so many people, gave me so many ideas, and made so many connections. And it is really hard to tell what she does because she does so many things so well. So, Ruby, tell us what you do now and what you are planning on doing in the, in the next few years. Okay, well, one of the things I've just completed was my doctorate in education at Ball State University. Congratulations. Thank you. And I focused on health disparities by race, and that was my research area. And I was looking specifically at African Americans and tobacco cessation and addressing some of the issues of the cultural differences and assisting healthcare professionals in understanding how to tailor their messages and their interventions in a cultural way. Mm -hmm. And one of the programs that I'm working on right now is called It Is Well With My Soul, Surviving and Thriving and Unlearning Internalized Racism. And this is in uh, affiliation with the African, African American Historical Society. And it involves traveling exhibits, narratives, oral storytelling on African American accomplishments in Fort Wayne, as well as workshops to teach individuals who are interested on how to do their own genealogy research and how to do historical research. And the Allen County Public Library Genealogy Center will help us in digitizing and publishing these records. As you know, this show is called Monday Morning Jolt. So what we want to know is how you get yourself started on a Monday morning and why Mondays are great. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the way you get started on a Monday is probably by preparing your week prior to Monday. So knowing what it is you have to do and uh, being ready when Monday comes along. And how you start your Monday will really vary depending on um, your specific interests or your um, method or mode of operation. My preference for Mondays is not to stack a lot of appointments on that day. Usually Mondays and Fridays I like to use as days to do planning, doing um, catch-up, uh, documentation. So I'll, I'll stack most of my appointments Tuesday through Thursday. More strategic, use Monday for more strategic yes. overview, making right. sure you're on track. Right. And then why am I happy all the time? <laughs> uh, and I think that um, is more in, in line with my spiritual perspective. I believe that um, every individual is here for a unique purpose, and we all need each other. None of us are an island, and if we connect with one, one another, we'll learn so much more. We'll, uh, we can uplift one another. There, there have been people who've helped me along the way, who've mentored me, mm -hmm. and it's, it is my um, purpose in this life to reach back and help others. And, um, and that's part of our African-American culture is that there, there are those who have uplifted you to, to promote your education, to promote your professional development, and then it's your duty to give back, to reach back and help the others to climb. So what, what adage do you live by or what philosophy do you live by every day? I know you talked about reaching out and, and helping but is there one thing or one uh, phrase that really sums up how you look at life and how you live your life? Yeah. I have a lot of those phrases. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of them is the tagline for my business, no train, no gain. I, I believe in continuous learning. learning. You, uh, if you stop learning, you stop growing. So uh, every day has something to teach us. And I believe I'll learn something. I'll connect with someone. And I believe serendipity is really important. So be open to those things that you're not expecting to happen because sometimes those are the greatest things that happen in your day. So, um, you know, don't rush through your day and say, I've got to do this and I don't have time to talk to this person or, or you know, just take a little break. Uh, and it's usually in those things that you didn't anticipate that you really have uh, the greatest uh, re revelations. So that, that's a great reminder, I think. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay.
Okay, so I want to know if you could pick a superpower, any superpower, what one would you want? You could select a superpower. A superpower. Wow. Probably wisdom. <laughs> you already have wisdom, so. <laughs> <laughs> because I think that helps you to discern the, the, the struggles and the, uh, you know, the complexities of life. So. <laughs> I can tell us something that would people even that know you well don't know about you. Oh wow, there's a lot of things people don't know about me, and I don't know if it, I don't know if I'm. Going to know it. <laughs> that's why they don't know it, right? <laughs> and that's that's really kind of an interesting thing because it depends on the interests of the individuals. But one of the things people may not know is I have the aspiration of being a professional bowler. Oh, that's good. I didn't know about that. <laughs> that's, that seems really in Congress. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I guess not. You know, it's, you have, it's yeah, yeah, another yeah. stereotype, right? Yeah, I have known Ruby for more than 10 years. I didn't know about this. Uh, see? Yeah. Uh, that's a long story. <laughs> so, Longer than six minutes. That's right. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, uh, Ruby, how do people get hold of you? I mean, what is your web address? What's your phone number? How do people get hold of you to do business or talk with you and have you as a speaker? How do people get hold of you? Well, my uh, web address is www.ctrainingexcellence.com. Um, so we want to thank Ruby for, to, uh, for coming today and giving us a great interview. Yes. And it was wonderful. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and picked up something from it. And this is Monday Morning Jolt. Use it.